And we want you to succeed in Crowd1. And we want to extend the opportunities we provide as far as your dreams and ours can possibly reach. And we truly believe that there is no limit to how far those dreams can carry us. But remember to always be proactive. That is how you reach your goals. And today, among other things, we will learn the steps on how to get started. Yes, and we're so happy that and is so how you excited reach your you've goals. decided to join and us today, on this wonderful uh, adventure. And if you haven't yet joined us, we're already looking forward to welcoming you to our community on our shared journey. Well, we hope and believe it will be as amazing for you as it is for us. So join the movement because Crowd1 is unleashing opportunities everywhere. The key to succeeding online is to use the latest technology. We are the fastest growing online business, unleashing opportunities. Worldwide communication, entertainment, travel, gaming, and much more. Are you ready? Welcome to the future. of Crowd One, Jonas Eric Warner. Members around the world, it's really nice to be here again. I'm really excited by all the news that we have the chance to deliver to all of you today. The last year had been a really tough year for a lot of people around the world, inclusively all the members and all the leaders around the world in Crowd1. But I promise you that we have just started. We are just warming up. The rest of this year and the next year and the year after, we will make sure that we deliver the absolutely strongest platform online. And we will deliver groundbreaking services, online services. And as I said before, uh, today we have a lot of cool updates, a lot of excited, exciting news to give all of you. So um, let's start it. Thank you so much, Jonas. The next two speakers are here today to share important company updates. Please welcome to the stage ICT Group CEO, Joan Westerdahl and Chief of Network Operations, Jonathan Ström. Hi, Jonathan. It's great to be on stage again with you and have the opportunity to give a short company update here to everyone that is with us today listening about what we are and what we're doing at the moment. And I know that there's a lot of things happening in your departments, Jonathan, so please start with giving us an update. Yes, with the growth that we have and that we still have, that is something special and that we need to keep in mind. 
And of course, with growth, there are some challenges. But the best part is that we can solve those ones. We have an amazing support team in Spain, doing a great job, but now we're adding additional resources and power to build an even stronger organization. We are an online revolution, and we're here to support you as we and you grow together. We are hiring a strong team in Dubai. And in addition to the ones in Spain, we will cover more languages, more time zones, and constantly focusing on improving the quality. We will also present a powerful VIP support structure that will make it possible for the ones qualifying to get this support in a faster and easier way. And of course, each of the ones working in Spain or being hired in Dubai, they are here to support you and unleash your opportunity. And you know what? They can't help. They can't wait to help. This is great to hear, Jonathan, and I'm really looking forward to see all the new people coming on board. But first of all, we are going to speak about uh, some new parts from the loyalty program. And the first thing is the activity streamline. Your way to earn loyalty points every day. Being active every day means that you can maximize your loyalty points. To be a part of the activity streamline, you need to log in at for you in your back office every day to take parts of news and updates. But let us look how it works, because this is a really amazing thing. One of the best things I think we have launched in a long mm. time. If you look at the picture behind us, you see the first week where you have been active for five days. So after that week, where you have been in looking at the news, taking part of the updates for five times, you will be able to collect five loyalty points. But the good thing is, the next week, when you're active all the seven days, where you're in every day, you will collect the seven points for the week, but you will also have a strike, like That's in bowling. Cool yeah. yeah, the good part. And that is the five from the last week. That means that that week you will collect 12 points. And look what's happened week three, when you're also active all seven days in the back office, you will first of all collect the seven points for the week mm. and the 12 you had to earn last week. So you will earn 19 points that week. Think about what this amount of loyalty points will be after 10 weeks of consecutive activity or 20 or 30 weeks. That would be a tremendous amount of loyalty points. And I think this is a way where we really show how we uh, reward all in our crowd that is actively taking part in the business. Uh, and I know that we have another great thing that you will present for us. Yeah, I mean, this, this loyalty program is, for me, I think that's the fantastic answer to the question, in what ways does Crowd1 reward activity and commitment? Yeah. Um, as you mentioned, let us look at the second update. And this one is about the active user pool. And we have been talking on stage yeah. before about yeah. this, but now it's possible for you to see this in your back office as well. And as you know, you get your activity points, the APs, for each of the product purchases. These APs are key metrics in your commission, since we believe in using and recommending our great products. Each product purchase from yourself or your direct downlines gives you an AP that gives you a part in the active user pool. So use, recommend the products, and you will be rewarded. And if we're looking at this in the back office, you will be able to track and see your activity. In this case, we have someone qualified in the entertainment category. And as you can see, the person is qualified until August 2021. You see the green dots. This is coming from what I would expect a mixed subscription. But you can also see that the person has a yellow mark for September and October. This means that some of his or her direct sponsored are qualified, but he or she are not yet. So if we look at the next slide, we are going to look at some important dates. 
in the timeline behind me, you can see the next two coming months. Three important dates. Now, the launch of the active point system. At the beginning of August, the activity point rules for bonuses kicks in. And by the end of August, the first payouts of the active user pool and the sales bonus starts. And of course, there are only paid APs that qualifies for the active user pool and the sales bonus payouts. I think it's quite straightforward. What do you think? I think this shows the greatness in both our bonus plan and the loyalty program and how we're rewarding everyone in the crowd that is active and driving our mutual business forward. The theme of this event is from reactive to proactive. We are working every day with planning and building our organization. We aim to be more proactive and we are well on our way. I also think that we have shown why our tagline is unleashing opportunities. We are here to support you in taking the opportunity and changing your life. We have heard Jonas talking about the new offices and how we're expanding over the world. You also heard about how we're increasing the support team from Jonathan. That's not the only team that is growing. Every week, every day, there's new people coming on board. And all of them are here to serve and support you. We also have the great products that we've heard about some of them. You will hear more about Planet IX later. But I also know that they're working very, very hard to get ready for the launch of another very important product for us all. And uh, I know that you, Jonathan, knows what product I'm talking about. I'm talking about the multi-wallet. And uh, that will be something that is revolutioning our business and our company quite a lot to get that product in. Um, but we should see a movie, a video around that, so we get an update, the latest update from the team that is building that product. Uh, so, first of all, thanks from Jonathan and me, and now let's see the movie about multi-wallet. Now it's time for Global Head of Events and Network Activities, Hannah Kimblard. She will talk about how we proactively work with communication to support you in the very best way we can. Hello, everyone. Hello. It is so exciting to be here today. I just love our theme, from reactive to proactive. And by being proactive, we can all reach our goals, whatever they may be. Crowd1 is in the business of communication. And the way we communicate and support our crowd is so important. Events like the one today are a cornerstone, cornerstone of our communication strategy. Every quarter, we arrange a mega event, online for now, and hopefully live in the future as the restrictions are lifted. During the mega event, we go through news, company updates that are crucial for anyone building their business with Crowd1, but also for people that are not yet on board. Regularly, we also host live events in Dubai for directors and up, and there we share information, recognition, uh, for their great work and the possibility to share experiences and meet new and old friends. The next Dubai Live event will be in September, and I can't wait. For you who couldn't make it for the last one, let's have a look how it looked a few weeks back. Crowd1, as you all know, is an established online social community and marketing company registered right here in Dubai. 
connect people from all around the world and at the same time has given them exclusive access to a range of marketable products and services and we have been the pioneer of online crowd marketing since 2019. From there we have seen exponential growth. We have gone from zero to 30 million people in just under three years. We are in every single continent. We translate our message into 12 different languages. We are truly amazing and truly good and this is the future crowd one is going to be where we are going to be established in this region and globally for a very 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 long time So don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for information and also inspiring testimonials from all around the world. And did you know, if you subscribe to our channel, you will be notified every time there is new content uploaded. Also, keep an eye out for all the news being published in your back office. Anything of importance to you and the company will be published there. And you know what? In all the official languages. We are also very excited to announce the launch of our very own new site later this month. It is called The Business Globe, and we will publish business news from all around the world. During the coming weeks, you will also get to see the very first episode of One More Thing, our product-focused show to educate you on a deeper level about our products. I can't wait for that one. And each of our products will also have their own show for you to learn about all the news in the different product categories. And also, if that wasn't enough, starting very soon, we, have, we will be airing our very own talk show, United by Passion, where leaders share their experiences and best tips on different subjects. You can watch them in our official YouTube channel. And I will actually leave you with a sneak peek of what to expect. You have to work. You have to work for your own values. I am aiming at producing the largest number of presidents mm. because I know that we can do it. So a warm welcome to this interview section with Crowd1 leaders from across the world. She is not going to fulfill their own dreams, but of their entire family. This is awesome. So many great things to look forward to. Now, Fab, have you heard about Mindo? Yes, I have. There is you a have? great supply of useful content, actually. Mm -hmm. But why do you ask? Well, our next speaker is actually going to talk about how you can use Mindo as a tool in your business and how you simplify your business. And back to basic training. And that is, again, a way to be proactive by always learning and using new tools. Mm. Now, before welcoming Peter Jacobson, let's have a look at this. I was so focused because I had all my goals written down. I 
Welcome up on stage, Peter Jacobson. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful planet. I'm here to talk a couple of minutes, give you a couple of nuggets and bring you back to the school of increase. Because I'm a firm believer that we all need education. We can never stop learning. And there's so many people out there that write books and, you know, they have seminars and webinars. And that's why we have these things so we can reach out to you and give you some new information. And this guy that I've met a couple of times, he wrote some interesting books. His name is Robert Kiyosaki. You probably read his famous book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And he says that if you focus on education, then the money will follow. That's a so important lesson that education will take you where you want to go. Or like my old friend Les Brown used to say, he said, it's better to be prepared and not have an opportunity than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. So that's why you need to be prepared for your success. You need education. You need, you need motivation, inspiration, and all that. And even though I'm here as a trainer, coach, or whatever you call it, to give you all that, you got to do it. You got to go out and do it. And so, so why is it that so many people don't succeed or don't take action or you involve them in something and they disappoint you because they don't do stuff. Well, I'm going to go through a couple of steps that we, we can learn a little bit about how things work. And, you know, we can only live in the now. So the education that we get is now. We can't get it tomorrow and we can't get it yesterday. It's now. So you got to be in the now. But most people don't get it because they destroy their now with a lot of old worries that they already had. So instead of being in the now, they bring all the worries in the now. So the now will get destroyed and they will lose focus. And some people, they worry about their future. So they bring in the worries into the now about what's going to happen. And if you have been listening to me before, you know that there's this um, survey that they did many years ago about fear and worry, which is the number one success killer, fear and worry. And that is, most people worry about things that already had happened. Like 40% is things that already has happened, that nothing can change. And 30% of the worries people have is about stuff that hasn't happened yet, that will not happen. So they worry about stuff that not going to happen. That's 70%. Then they have around... 15% of worrying about they are going to get sick, which they will not. And imagine walking around in the day worrying about so much, spending 85% about stuff that will not happen, has happened, or will not happen again. So that's why we need education, so we can understand how things are working. There are principles that we have to follow. And um, 
if you're going to prepare yourself for your success, we have a wonderful tool that's called Mindo. And in Mindo, there's a thing that we recorded that's called Get Started. And to get around all this worrying, all this fear, and it's not much so much for you, but for the people that you work with, because you didn't come here to make a living. You came here to make a difference. You're going to make a difference in people's lives. So that's why you need the education, so you can be the inspiration to others. And when you're working with other people, it's way easier if you have a system to work by. And this is nothing new. What we recorded in, in Mindo, there's a step-by-step -step get started that had worked for years and years and years. There's nothing new. But still, it's a system. How to get started, how to write your goals down, you know, uh, the name list that you need how to contact people and what to do and not what to do and some ideas for you to inspire other people with. So if you have a system and you, if you let the system work for you, the system will work for you. You work the system, the system will work for you. That's why we have Mindo. So you got to go inside the back office and when you have your new people, you start introduce them step by step how to get started in Mindo. And guys, this is so easy. It sounds easy, doesn't it? Yeah. You know why people don't succeed? Because it's easy not to. It's also so easy not to do. But leadership is about inspiring others. Leadership is about leading others. And if you are good at that, the best of your life will be the rest of your life. Because you're not who you think you are. You are who you think you are. Thank you, Peter. That was truly inspiring. Now it is time to learn more about our sustainability work and the impact our members have all around the world. Please welcome back, Meida Omar and Celeste Kaplan. This event, as you have heard, is all about going from reactive to proactive. And in our vision for the company, we state that we will provide sustainable business opportunities for everyone. The word sustainable is really important to us, and we think about it a lot. Apart from sustainability in business and work-life balance, sustainability is, of course, also important for our communities and our planet. One thing that we have recognized together with a lot of you is the joy in giving back to those around you to share our successes, big and small. We, as a company, have recently launched our new sustainability website. You can find it at the top of the menu bar on crowd1.com. There, we will in the coming months reveal some exciting initiatives. There is also a section where we put the spotlight on some of our members who do great things with some of the money they make with Crowd1. We call them impactors. And in this video, we will meet a few of them. I am personally so impressed by their proactive approach and the way that they make a difference. My name is Ankapapula Landu. I live in Lusaka, Zambia. I have three beautiful boys and one daughter. I live in Devon, Maryland West. I was in a point where I didn't have money at all. I needed money for my family to live on. My main reason was to make sure my family is stabilized financially, because everybody needs financial freedom in this life. My name is Nacha Pansan Sriman. I take part of my income to give back to the people. They don't have much food, and now it's COVID. It's very difficult for them to stay and move on. 
My dream was to help the cassava farmers of the Pula province, helping them get access to market and helping them train for better methods of farming cassava. To see these young kids that are growing, they are not able to get future for themselves. These are the kids that need something that can bring them together just to bring that little hope. I bought them a soccer kit and then I bought them soccer boots. For me to keep these kids together, I need their parents involved. I invited their parents to come and do catering on the tournaments for these kids so that each can help each. I'm planning to make ethanol hand sanitizer to help with the COVID-19. We're trying to introduce and encourage all farmers to plant trees because we did not inherit the earth from our ancestors, but we borrowed it from our children. Every time I move, always go to the next step of life. And I always thought in my mind that I must be better. I am very proud that I can survive with Crowd One and I can help people around me to survive together. The Crowd One earnings were absolutely useful for this project because without that, I would not have managed to get to Mansa. Crowd One is the only income I have. So that is the money I'm sharing with them from my crowd one earnings. Now it's our time that we give it back to our communities, uplift them, give them. If somebody says, I want to be a farmer, go help that farmer. So I'm advising everybody that, let us teach ourselves how to handle money. Let us teach ourselves to help the next person, especially our communities where we come from. And let us help ourselves develop each other. We should be a better people if we can do that.
as you all know, the world is slowly but surely opening up again. But until we can freely travel, we have to meet some of our guests online instead. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from Mr. Greg Stevens, the CEO of Emerge Gaming. Hi all, great to see you again and to be here with you all. Since our historic launch at the end of last year, we are so happy that Mixter has now surpassed the 1 million subscriber milestone, and we are well on our way to hitting the next big number. Our growing community spans in more than 160 countries, and we are very thankful to every single one of you. Over 18 million games have been played on the platform, and every week we are adding new games for you to enjoy. We have very high engagement in our tournaments, and hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of prizes have been won and distributed globally. We are continuing to build deeper connections with international brands and collaborating to bring you even more exclusive custom products, in-store experiences, and rewards. But now we are focusing on the future, and the future of Mixter is almost here. I am very excited to announce that the first phase of Mixter Plus will be launching early in the fall. We are completely rebuilding the platform to include new and enhanced features and a refined user experience that will keep you on the platform for longer, playing more games, and most importantly, winning more prizes. Our community is the core of our product. And in the first phase, you'll find more opportunity to interact within this community as we introduce head-to-head -to -head tournaments, allowing you to challenge fellow gamers and claim bragging rights when you finish on top. But before the launch of Mixta Plus, we have the exciting launch of Staxa. So what is Staxa, you might ask? Staxa is an online platform that will deliver world-class gaming content created for and by social gamers. Available to download on the app stores, initial content will be divided into three segments. Live, where we will have a number of weekly TV shows covering all aspects of gaming and esports. Catch up. All the live TV content will be saved here and is always available. Gameplay will house a variety of short format content, including interviews, unboxings, and brand interaction videos. It's really going to be an exciting few months ahead. Don't forget to check out all our social media pages for Mixta and Staxa so you can keep up to date with the latest news and offers available. We love it when you send in your pics and videos of the prizes. You've been winning, so keep it up. And we also have the very exciting launch of Mixta Plus Premium. This will be streaming premium games from the cloud directly to your smart device. No need for console and no need for your controller. Entering into competitive gaming tournaments, this product is going to be a truly global disruptor. And to conclude, we will be hosting a Mixta Plus special event in mid-August. I hope to see you all there, so make sure you tune in and make sure you keep on playing. Thank you very much. One million Mixter subscribers in just one year. What a huge success, just like we expected. Now, I know that we got some really exciting news to share with you today regarding on Mixter. So with that, I would like to welcome up on stage no one else but Mr. Mixter himself, Sverke Karon and Celeste Kappelen. Hello, everyone. It's so fantastic to be back here. And even better now, when we have passed the first one million Mixter players. It is wonderful to stand here to promote such a brilliant gaming platform. And those prizes, oof, I really need to practice some more in order to have a chance to win. I think <laughs> you should, because there are so many great tournaments to take part in. What do you have in store for us here today, Sverke? Well, Mixer is a very popular platform, and we have some great results from our Mixer for All promotions that we have run earlier this spring. But we have lots of messages from people that missed their chance to sign up for free. And that's a shame. 
We want, of course, everyone to have the opportunity to check out for Mixter for themselves. And therefore, we have decided to bring back the promotion and let it run from today and over the summer. That's amazing. It's so fantastic that you're giving more people the chance to explore Mixter. Yes. And if you are quick, you will have time to practice your skills in time for Mixer Plus that you heard Greg talk about before. That will be awesome. Thank you, Sverke and Celeste. Now, without all of our dedicated and hardworking leaders, Crowd1 would not be where it is today. And one thing that unites all of the leaders is the fact that they are all proactive in building their businesses. One person who knows the importance of being proactive is with us today. He has an MIT education, he's a poker and chess pro, and he quickly understood that there are no limits to what you and your team can achieve if you go all in. He has built one of the largest online marketing organizations in the world. I'm speaking of someone who wasn't only one of the first Crowd1 affiliates, but has also managed to stay in front and time and time again displays pure excellence. Let's put our hands together for Anthony Chatelaine. Do I look smart? The late Thomas Nordlin, Kenny Nordlin's father, he would utter those same words when he walked up on stage. Thomas was also the big mentor of Jonas, our founder. And he was one of my heroes. The thing that was so cool, why he said that, everybody would stop, uh, start laughing. The funny thing for me was that he was the smartest guy in the room. He had no education. He, had, uh, he was dyslectic. He had a hard time reading and writing. But he was a master distributor, a master networker. He was famous for being able to take somebody from nothing to everything. So I know today he's looking down. He's uh, uh, proud of his protege, Jonas, and of Kenny, and a little bit proud of me because I am coachable. I listen and I learn and I duplicate. If you work in my team, you have to be coachable. So today, it's my turn to teach you to go from nothing to everything. I'm going to tell you my story. I'm going to talk a little bit about my strategy. It's going to be some tough love, but I want you to be excellent. This is a training that I did in Dubai a month ago. And we're running it now in all the different groups, and people are just exploding. They are running through the ranks. So I wanted to share these points with you today. So the training is for everyone that wants to become bigger, better, stronger, smarter, and faster. You heard me say before on stage that my motto is Kaizen. It's a Japanese saying that means continuous improvement. I think this needs to be your drive in everything in life, in health, you should have a health goal, relationship goal, financial goal, and for me, a spiritual goal. My big goal for next year, until the end of next year, I want to build a thousand new presidents. So if, if I can only inspire five, ten more people to go ambassador, that would give a thousand presidents, 10,000 of directors, hundreds of thousands of managers, and a million coordinators. Let's begin. The first thing I want to talk about is president mindset. You need to upgrade your mindset. You need to start thinking differently. You need to start thinking like you're a president already if this is your goal. You need to be proud of yourself and your business. You need to believe in your own capacity, your own skills, and believe in the company. You decide something and then you go to action. Decision, action. This is what this event is all about. You need to have a positive mindset. Then you can conquer all. If I were you, I would study other presidents, see what they do. How do they walk? How do they talk? How do they carry themselves? An example for me is our own founder, Jonas. He has this no-excuse attitude. Every room he enters, he takes over. He walks and talks like a president. Like he's going somewhere, he has a purpose. Have you ever seen him, the, the way he walks into a room or up on stage? Boom, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom. Puff. Just like that. Attitude. Attitude. No excuse. I want to tell you the story of how I met him the first time, 15 years ago, and why we became best friends. 15 years ago, I'm at an event in Prague. I'm the top earner, top producer. All of a sudden, Jonas walks up on stage. He's talking, winning, winning, winning. He's pointing with his whole arm like that. Winning like there was no way to lose. Winning, winning, winning like second place is the first loser. And I'm looking around. Who is this guy? I didn't even know he was in the company. And I see Kenny with a big smile on his face. Kenny had invited him two days earlier. This is the president mindset. He had filled the bus, 72 people, and drove from, uh, from Stockholm down all the way to Prague. That's amazing. When I went to sleep that night, the only thing I can think of was winning, winning, winning. I need to step up my game. I need to be better, bigger, better, smarter, stronger, and faster. I love the competition. For me, I take it as something positive. When somebody else is really, really strong, I take some of that energy and I make it mine. And I hope you can do the same thing. So, do you think that 15 years later that Jonas has cooled down? No, he's worse today. He has even bigger goals, more power. He is bigger, better, stronger, smarter, and faster. And those are the kind of people I want to hang around. Because guess what? You become like your five best friends. If your five best friends are always negative, complaining, you will start to complain. If your five best friends are lazy and broke, it's a good chance that you become lazy and broke. But if your five best friends are successful, congratulations, you have a big chance of also being successful. Who do you think Jonas' five best friends are? I know that he's surrounding himself with the best management on earth. I call them the dream team management. He has surrounded himself with business people to make sure we keep on track and on target to one billion members. This is what we have to do to be a successful company and to be bigger, better, stronger, smarter, and faster as a company. Either you have this mindset, this winning attitude that you cannot lose, or you have to develop it. You heard my story. I graduated from MIT, but I can tell you I'm not a genius, but I have that mindset from when I was a kid. Competitive mindset. I wanted to win. But my big goal, why I studied so hard to get a scholarship and graduate from the top university in the world, was my mother. That's my goal. I wanted to help my mother. During high school, I got up at five every morning. People say that teenagers need to sleep. I got up at five. I go to the gym for two hours. I go to school at seven before they even open the doors. I bang on the door to have them let me in to study for two hours before school started. Mindset. You see the difference? And you can choose to have that mindset. You can choose to be excellent. The only thing I'm asking you, what's your goal? What's your goal? Is it strong enough to do that little extra to become excellent? Number two, second thing I want to talk about. 90-day all-in action plan. Action, action, action. You heard about that in the event? It took me 18 months to become an ambassador. If you do ambassador in two, three, four years, it's fantastic. But making a plan three, four years ahead of time, it's tough. Because then you can always start tomorrow, right? You have three years, four years to do it. So what I do with a 90-day plan, I divide the year up in four 90-day uh, segments. That creates urgency. Then you make a goal for those 90 days. And we're doing it in all the groups now. And we're really, really, really helping people to push through and go up in rank to build their business. And what do you need to do? You need to find two. If you're going to build a team, you need to find two. One in your left team and one in your right team. Okay? When I say find two, I'm talking about two leaders. I'm talking about two people that's driving, working with the business. Because people often ask me, but Anthony, I signed up too. My cousin and my sister. Nothing is happening. They're not doing anything. So you need to find another two. Simple math. Two, and you find two, you find two until you have those that you need to work with. But you know businesses that it's been around for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, they got their first big boom after year three to five. 
this is our year three. A lot of top networks have been watching us to see if we deliver what we promise. They will join this summer, I can tell you. I have over 100 presidents in my team today. 20 of them made president in 90 days. That's awesome. 20. What I want you to hear when I tell you this story is that, wow, somebody did it in 90 days. I want to do it in 90 days. You know, I'm just setting the bar. And guess what? Out of those 100 presidents, I only have two frontline presidents. Two. Most people do not become president. They're not willing to do that work. They're not willing to change their mindset. So two frontline presidents, all the rest are deeper down in the business. You just help people all the way down, if you have to, to find those two people that you're going to work with. You already know one of my front lines, Magnus. My wingman, Magnus, he's amazing. He's a superstar. I love him like a brother. He's awesome. Guess what? He joined after nine months. I was already in the business. I was a president, and that one call, all of a sudden, Magnus joined. And it's jackpot, right? But Magnus, he was calling me 10 times a day, calling, calling, calling. He's like, oh, sorry, sorry, you know, I have more questions. It doesn't matter. You call me anytime. I wake up in the middle of the night to help you because I heard his questions were president mindset questions. He wanted to learn. It was not complaining. He wanted to learn. Today, I call him with questions. Isn't that awesome? Today, I call him. We brainstorm about stuff. So how many do you need then? How many do you need to become an ambassador? Two. How many do you need to talk to to find those two? I don't know. As many as it takes. I have a lot of really good leaders. Christine, Carmen, Jinso, Natalie, Alan, Serge, Sean Kumar. Have you noticed that every time I'm on stage, I make sure that I mention some of my top leaders? It's important because you're a team. You're nothing without your team. You have to help other people succeed. So you need to understand this if you're going to build a big business. And I can tell you, both Jonas and Kenny, they have built huge businesses. Huge. They find some of their best top leaders, top superstars, thousand levels down. Thousand levels down. So knowing that, that now things are falling in place. I study almost 10 years at the university to get my degree. I'm asking you for 90 days, 90 days to really, really work hard, to go all in on your business, if that's what you want, if you want to build it big. In school, I was a master of study techniques. I used study techniques as a tool to make me stronger and better. Speed reading, memory techniques, mind mapping, goal setting, all this, I used that from an early age, when I was 16 years old. Guess what? If you want to build a business, I can tell you, crowd one is the study technique of business. Let me say that again. Crowd one is the study technique of business. That means you can actually, if you want to build, build a worldwide business, you can work with crowd one. If you just focus on building the crowd, we have tons of different awesome products that we will give to you to work with in your portfolio and you will have it in 140 countries around the world. You can talk to anyone you want, and the company translates into, right now it's 12 uh, languages, but we're in eight countries in the world right now with offices, so we're expanding really rapidly. So if you like that laptop lifestyle, if you like that residual income, then you need to decide where you want to be 90 days from now, okay? Third thing I want to talk about is focus. Focus, focus, focus. It's so important because successful people, they learn how to focus. They focus on their goals. And then they make small corrections toward their goal, right? Unsuccessful people, they have no clue where they're going. They're like, one day it's this way, next day it's this way, grass is green over here, next week is another company. No, you need to set that goal, such a strong goal that you can feel it, smell it, taste it. Taste the reward that you will get when you reach your goal. This is awesome. This is really important. And if it's important enough for you, like it was for me, then it can be life-changing. 90 days, focus. Focus on becoming a better presenter, because that's the only thing you can control, right? You're presenting. You want to present the opportunity. 
Unleashing opportunities, our new tagline, unleashing opportunities. So you focus on becoming a better presenter. Don't try to convince people, inform about the opportunity. And then they have to understand it's yes or no. I always say that in my presentations. When I'm done with this presentation, I want a yes or a no. And maybe for me, it's a no, because then you have misunderstood, right? This is the best business in the world. President mindset. And then I go to the next. It's a numbers game. That's where the math comes in. This is a numbers game. But you need to know what you're worth. See, you're going somewhere. People like to follow people who know where they're going. So you have to have that attitude of, wow, they're happy to join your team, right? Because you know where you're going. So don't waste energy or be discouraged if somebody says no today. Six months from now, they will come and beg to be in your team. You see how I'm thinking? You see the different way of thinking positive feelings, which make you really strong. Don't beg people. President mindset. A bee doesn't try to convince a fly that honey is better than shit, right? Crowd one is honey. You be the bee. I want to give you an example that motivates me about focus. And I can see it. And I, think I saw that in myself. My son, he's 12 years old, going 13. He's very good in school, but his big dream in life is to become a gamer. Gaming, gaming, gaming. I'm not a gamer, but I can see how he's studying YouTube, studying to become a better gamer. He gets up at six in the morning to play two hours before school. And I encourage it. I love it. I love it. He has that president mindset. He's talking about winning, winning, winning. He wants to crush everyone. So I like the competitive spirit. And every time when, I, when he starts his session, even in the morning, he's sitting there with his headset. He cries out, let's go. And I get so motivated by that war cry out. So I have to call Magnus and yell, let's go, Magnus. I send a fist bump to Kenny and I said, hashtag, let's go. I send a heart to Jonah, say, thanks, boss, let's go. Focus. How many people do you think jump out of bed Monday morning to go to work and say, "Woo, let's go. Not too many people, but we do. Because for us, every day is like Friday. We work whenever we want and with whomever we want. Okay? The only time I lose focus is when Kenny starts talking about future products. Future products. He's talking about future products. We have some of the best products in the world. Planet IX, the wallet, everything. It's so awesome. 31, 32 million people right now. We'll be 100 in a jiffy. And he's talking about future products. It drives me crazy. I can't sleep at night because I understand the math. I understood the business from day one. We're building a crowd, a crowd of strong entrepreneurs, a crowd of users that can use products and recommend to two, three, four, five, ten people if they got that president mindset. So we just need to build a crowd and you will get paid when people use different products. So I am excited about the product coming in three years, in five years. Whatever is hot in five years, you will have it because we will be hundreds of millions of members and they will want our crowd. So you will have it in your portfolio to recommend, to sell, to do networking with your team in your worldwide international business. Let me wrap it up. I want to challenge you to take today as your first day in the business. I don't care if you, 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 you're a manager, if you're a director, or if you're a president. Take this as day one. Because if you have understood what I'm talking about tonight, then tonight when you go to sleep, you will have echoing in your brain keywords like president mindset, fine two, 90 days, focus. You can do this. I challenge you, 90 days, see how far you can take it. I'm giving you a conclusion now. For conclusion, I want to go through what I talked about. Just a two-minute conclusion, but I want this affirmation to sink in. So imagine already that you're a winner. Imagine your success, whatever that might be. Imagine now with your newfound, upgraded presidential mindset, you believe in yourself, you believe in the company, you're proud and confident. you got skills to learn everything. You can start a business for free and help people achieve anything they want in life. You're committed and you're disciplined to reach your goal. Now, all of a sudden, you start attracting people around you like a magnet. People want to join your team. This is the difference. 
you walk and talk like a president. You're going somewhere, and you know that in, in the next two, three years, some of the top business guys will join our business because now we're taking off. We build a platform for two years, two and a half years. Now we're taking off. You are ready to do a 90-day plan to find your two superstars. Wherever it is in your downline, you will find two. Get ready to call that new recruit, the guy you called last year, and he didn't join because we had nothing. We just had that vision from Jonas, what we're going to do. Now is the time to call him. Right now is the best timing. I want you to focus. Focus on your goal. Focus on that great big new goal that you have set for yourself to motivate you. You want to become excellent. Now you're approaching life in an excellent manner. You're ready to put that extra hour in, in the morning or an hour at night to become bigger, better, stronger, smarter, and faster. You know that you're a pioneer. We're only 30 million members now, going for 100, 250, going to 1 billion. You're the first. You're working on your business, but you're getting paid from the whole business, the whole business of the company. And you know you'll be a winner in 90 days or one year or three years or five. You cannot lose because you will never quit. I love you guys so much. I will see you in Dubai for the next event in 90 days. God bless you. Let's go! For the challenge, building the planet of tomorrow in the new one of a kind strategy trading game. Planet IX is a game, a digital copy of the planet, where players can buy, collect, and trade picks, which is how we call the lots of land. People will get packages and then go into the marketplace, and then they can sell, exchange, buy directly from other players. Play smart, and you're going to get rewarded. The philosophy is quite simple. Like, we believe that every player should have equal chances to win. Even if you don't put too much in the game when you start, you will maybe score a pack of legendary picks, which are extremely valuable. We partnered up with a tree foundation and we're gonna plant like tons and tons of trees. And those guys do not only plant trees, but they have like really beautiful social work happening. And, and I think with the success of the game, the more players we have in the platform, uh, the more trees we're going to plant and we're going to keep doing this beautiful social work. But like gameplay wise, I think the most exciting part for me is the land picks, which are like NFTs. NFTs, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoins, etc. We have a fully dedicated team just working on it. And the main focus of them is of course building something that works and makes sense, but also dismissifying the entire thing. because. When you say NFTs, when you say Bitcoins, cryptocurrency, a lot of people say, no, no, that's not for me. Soon we'll have tutorials online and showing like how easy this entire NFT uh, world will be. The initial idea was merely focused on virtual real estate and a bit of trading, but like we ended up gamifying every little bit of it. That's why we call a game and not a platform. End of the day, we just made something that it's fun and equally rewarding to players. What made Planet IX stand out is for sure the landmark picks, like the NFTs. Like imagine 3D representations of world monuments, world buildings, such as like, I don't know, Christ the Redeemer in Brazil, 
or the Taj Mahal in India, like there's only one of those in the world. And in Planet IX, the same thing, only one copy. Like in that sense, you can imagine how much valuable uh, those things are in game. Like it, it's gonna be awesome. The main mechanics, well, like there's a lot, but to sum up, there are picks tiers uh, from common all the way to legendary, like the amount of picks that you own, the collectiveness of it all also dictates the value. Um, there's the marketplace, which I believe is going to be a thing on its own. Drops, so you have weekly drops, like no, the entire planet will be up for grabs to begin with. You're going to have specific zones, specific areas. Um, you have packs uh, of picks, like you can get mixed packs, you can get picks of specific tiers, and you can even have super special packs where you can actually go in the map and choose exactly the location that you want. Strategy tips, I would say be there every day. Uh, don't miss any drops. Like even on regions or zones that you believe that you're not really interested, think that thousands or maybe even millions of other players are there and they want that piece of land. So in that sense, like once you own it, someone else wants to own it and then you can negotiate your way through. Go on marketplace, sell it for 10, 100 times more what you paid for. If you do it it's smart, you're gonna get rewarded. There are plenty of platforms out there uh, doing just a small part of what we do. And that's why we call ourselves a game and not just a platform. Like in the future, we are looking into giving players the possibility of developing their collection of picks. So their collections will become NFTs on itself, uh, which is huge. They will see the benefits of playing the game like besides their own benefits, they're gonna see the good things that they're doing to the planet. Uh, and I think that's just like great uh, to break the barrier. Like we really want everyone to understand that what we're doing, it's not only digitally, it's for every single player and also for the planet. We're building something super special here. If you're as excited as I am about Planet IX, come and join us. And let's build the planet of tomorrow. I know you've all been waiting for it. Now, let's talk about Planet IX. This is a perfect example of proactivity. How to come up with great ideas and catapult them into action. Last time you heard from the game developers and met with one of the creatives behind Planet IX. Today, I am proud to introduce to you one of the masterminds behind the game architecture, Please welcome Felix Bankson. Hi there, man. Hello, Felix. Oh, the fire. That's right. Yes, man. You, you bring the heat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. Uh, pleasure being here. Yeah. Oh, man. So. Here we are. Could you please maybe start off by telling me a little bit about yourself, your background, and, and what your role is with Planet IX? Sure. Uh, I'm uh, one of the founding uh, team members of uh, the game studio that develops Planet IX, uh, Nibiru. And uh, my role there is to uh, make sense of the crypto economics of the game and the NFTs. And uh, I've been doing that for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. been a part of some... Uh, some successful journeys uh, in that space. So yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very cool challenge we have ahead of us. Mm -hmm. So the beta launch is coming soon. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's a lot of players that are really curious about Planet IX and, and they want to know what's, what's happening. Yeah, I mean, uh, through this uh, opportunity of Crowd1, we have seen uh, you know, a huge interest uh, of, uh, of being part of the beta launch. Uh, so uh, we are working around the clock and we are really excited to uh, start onboarding people. Okay, okay, that's wonderful. Well, I mean, there's a lot happening now, but for people that maybe don't really know, how does the game work? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit to show uh, from the start. So, but okay. but from, from a meta perspective, it's uh, quite similar to Monopoly, uh, you know, the, the classic uh, board game. Uh, Planet oh, yeah. IX is like a, a digital copy of the world. Uh, so, so it can host, you know, a lot more people. Uh, but the assets in the game and the, in the game sense is quite similar. Uh, in Monopoly, you rely on luck, uh, you know, when you hit a street. And, and in Planet IX, you, you rely on, on pick drops. 
uh, and in, in those pix drops, you, you will get randomly selected pixels uh, that, that you own. Right, so, so, so the utilities in the game is quite similar. But, you know, just like Monopoly, uh, you have to start, you know, collecting several streets in order to develop them. Uh, in Planet IX, you have to bundle the pixels together in order to start develop them. So, mm. uh, and during, yeah, so, yeah. I love it. Well, you know what? I, I love Monopoly growing up, so you have me hooked already. <laughs> but uh, would players know the areas before they buy those mixed packs? So, yeah, so uh, every week uh, we will have a new kind of drop zone mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and all the users will be informed of, of uh, the geographical area on, on uh, where those pixels will be uh, taken from. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we will have that up in, in uh, a few days before every drop. Okay. There's a limit to, you know, how many drops we will, we will release uh, during each week, but, uh, uh, you know, don't go crazy. Uh, <laughs> there will be another drop just around the corner. Okay, okay. It's good to know. So these mixed packs, are they all the same or how, how are they comprised? Yeah, it, it depends on, you know, the quantity, uh, but, but they are all the same in the sense that uh, there's, there's, uh, the, the picks comes from the different tiers, mm. uh, the, the legendary down to the outliers, okay. and, and, and they are all evenly distributed. So, so uh, in the beginning, at least, the, the, the first two months, we will start with like opening up the game. Uh, and, and, and later on, uh, we can maybe narrow down the packs drop so it's only legendary, it's only you know, outlier tiers that will be included in the packs, but from the game start, we will only focus on you know, having the mix. Okay, okay. It's good information for those that are following the game. So what should players basically do with these picks that they get in the packs? Uh, so... You know, we, we're launching very soon, and, and uh, I think it's very important to, to uh, say that the, it's all about understanding the game. Okay. Uh, our core, you know, our core product uh, will be the marketplace, okay. because that's the only way you can acquire uh, picks from another, uh, you know, user uh, without getting it from random. But we are not launching that until until the beta launch ends. So, so all the collectors of the picks have to Try to familiarize with, with the game infrastructure, the, the, the front end and UX on the platform and start uh, you know, making strategies on how they can trade up. Trade up to collect more picks you know, in, in, a, in a more con concentrated area. Okay. But I must ask, is trading happening already in beta phase? Uh, not during the beta. We, we, we see this uh, period of uh, launch as, as a great opportunity to as I said, educate, educate our users uh, with, with the game mechanics, uh, the end goal, uh, the strategies behind it, uh, and also educate ourselves. You know, how do our users uh, react and, and uh, how do they interact with, with the, the platform and uh, in, in stuff we can't really know by now. So, right, yeah, it's, right. it's, it's exciting time. No trading this the first uh, months. Okay. You take it nice and easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, talking about. Uh, NFTs and all that. Uh, can you please explain a little bit more about how the game economy really works? Yeah, so so uh, there's been a huge boom in in the NFT uh, space the last four years, mm. starting off with like static art uh, pictures with uh, you know a, a, a set shim of characteristics and, and rarities, mm. and, and you know game theory applied to that. Mm. And now we're seeing more of a you know. Uh, evolvement to to more game stylish you can play to earn or you can there, there's 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 a lot of things happening mm. and and uh, and especially the last year we seen so some good uh, nba top shot you know a huge uh, company standing behind a, a game like this so we're, there's a lot of movements in the market and this kind of ecosystem you know unfolds new possibilities to have substantial income mm. uh, in ways we haven't seen before you know usually before you just play the game, and, and, and now we can start interacting because NFTs are smart contracts. Mm. So you can derive and you can rotate you know, financial instruments basically mm. uh, through them. Mm. So, so it's a cool space. Uh, and, and Planet IX, I mean, we, we, we thought about you know, how, can we, how can we help or how can we evolve it? I mean... It's a huge opportunity for us to launch with uh, Crowd One with the with the market, and I think we we will unlock uh, you know s 
several hundred thousand new players into the blockchain uh, space. Mm -hmm. uh, so the ecosystem is, uh, I, you know, it's it's you have you have to you have to come in and you have to learn about it, and we will take you slow uh, because it's uh, it's it's a mouthful. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but to be honest, I mean, it, it actually sounds simpler than I thought it would, which yeah. is good because I'm. I'm quite a novice when it comes to gaming. <laughs> but you've mentioned a different ecosystem. Can you clarify just a bit more for people that maybe don't understand about, about that? Yeah, so uh, uh, some NFT projects, uh, they demand that there's a, there's a buyer on the other side, right? Okay. And, and we also do that in our marketplace. Like you have, you have a picture and you, and you set a price and there's somebody else who has to uh, you know, set yes or no. I like this, I can pay for this. Mm. Uh, in Planet IX, uh, how we decide, you know, how we... Uh, sketched it up is that you you play against the planet I X, you know that, that's that's the end goal. Mm. What I mean with that is, from all the sales we generate from the picks drops, mm. uh, twenty percent of that is going to be invested into uh, companies doing good for the planet, solar panels, you know, uh, forest management uh, companies, uh, uh, stuff like that, and and the cash flow and the yields generated from those assets will go directly back to the NFT holders. So, so apart from, you know, apart from doing very good initiatives and donations and planting trees, we're also making, you know, we're doing some heavy investments into companies that, that can generate cash flow that can later on be paid out to the NFT holders. So in that sense, you're not dependent on the other, you're, you're not dependent on a, on a, a not, not the opponent, but another user buying your art. Right. You're planning to, to play the game and through that get some rewards. There you go. You play hard, you win hard, right? <laughs> okay, so I think I understand. So a clustered collection of picks, they can be exchanged for NFTs. Yes, correct. So, so okay. there's actually two different NFTs in, in Planet IX. Uh, one that can be obtained uh, through playing, like trading uh, and com yeah, completing uh, you know, a cluster of picks. Okay. Uh, the second NFT that we are re releasing is the landmark NFTs. And the landmark NFTs are basically unique assets of, of world heritage uh, landmarks. Mm. And we are from day one placing them out so everybody can see uh, wh where they are and, and, uh, in, on the world. Mm. But they will not uh, be, you know, you, you cannot uh, play uh, to, to earn them. It's more uh, based on luck. So they will be handed out in the packs drop as, as uh, the common packs drop that you buy into. Okay. What these NFTs uh, have. Uh, you know, as a reward mechanism is that they have an area around them where all the trades of the, all the picks inside that area, they have a commission on the transaction fees that are that users pay in the marketplace. Uh -huh. uh, and, and, and if you have a legendary one that will cover quite a bit of area and uh, nice. those NFTs will, will, uh, will bring some value. I can guarantee <laughs> you that. Yeah, I can imagine. So how many uh, NFTs will be available in the game, more or less? So from the start, uh, during the, the beta, we're going to re release a couple of them only. Uh, okay. But they will be, you will see all of them uh, where they are located, and, and we, we will make sure that the people are uh, you know, ready for when they are <laughs> about to be dropped. Indeed, yeah. indeed. I can imagine people are going to be hungry for some NFTs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm telling you, that's, this really is extremely impressive. Um, but So Planet IX, it's if I get it correctly, it's kind of like uh, giving players the possibility to make a little bit of income by playing the game and at the same time contributing to the real planet. Uh, I mean, there is a finite land uh, in, the, in the real world and, 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 and so also that in Planet IX. So, mm. so in that sense, I mean, if you, if you hold a bit of land that somebody else wants, uh, the price of that like, can, can come up. But mm. It's important to remember that 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 you, you um, we cannot guarantee you, you know, that, that, that there's going to be a price increase. Mm. But uh, if you play the game smartly and you understand the mechanics mm. about the scarcity uh, and you know uh, and the, the opportunities that arise in the marketplace, uh, there's a good possibility that you uh, you could. Yes, mm. I, I'm sure that sounds good to some people's ears, <laughs> but I know you kind of touched on this, but can is it possible for a player to make a lot of money? Is, is that even possible in this game? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not we're not promising a <laughs> player to to make a fortune, but right. playing. But uh, uh, there, there's uh, definitely uh, there's definitely going to be some good economics in those who who study it and study. You know, 
a core value in 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 uh, in our uh, company is to be transparent and uh, we are going to share you know every bit piece of information mm. with everybody beforehand i mean there's no red carpet treatment in planet ix mm. uh, everybody has a fair chance of you know uh, earning money if they want to do that or mm. playing the game or just uh, getting to, getting to know what is nft you know it it depends on your level of seriousness when you're going into the game mm. uh, but uh, We'll definitely have you know a good good opportunity uh, if you're if you're um, understand the mechanics. Yes. <laughs> I got you, Felix. And transparency always wins, so that's a good approach. But um, I guess for a person like me that might want some insider trading, is there any tips that you could give on how to play smart? So so as of today, uh, you can now go to our website and uh, you can uh, get the. Uh, connected to our game book. And the, the yeah. game book is uh, basically our Bible that, okay. that outlays uh, from every you know, small detail of the picks to the tiers, to the classifications, to how the economics work, and uh, stuff like that. And, and uh, we, we want to give you know, the full transparency of what partners, what investments we made uh, to everybody. So, it's a, so uh, I would say that the, the best advice is to dig in Join our community. We have a strong community already in Discord uh, and community members ready to uh, serve and to help and to educate. And, and uh, not only me, but the team will be there. You can ask me questions directly. And we will also host a couple of you know, AMAs, Ask Me Anything, live uh, through our Discord channels uh, the coming weeks. Okay. So uh, I would say the best uh, tip is to join in oh. and lean in. Oh, that was such a transparent answer. I wanted like a cheat code or something that you could give me, <laughs> Felix. Come on. <laughs> All right. So before I let you go, I have one last question. Do you feel ready for the beta phase? <laughs> are you ready for beta? Are you, are you ready I, for what's coming? Of course, of course. Yeah? I mean, we've been working day and nights uh, the last uh, six months uh, at least to, 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 wow. to get this in motion. And uh, we're super happy about the opportunity to, to launch with uh, Crowd1. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. Indeed. Sounds awesome. Indeed. I'm, I'm excited about it as well. Uh, so, I guess, Felix, I must thank you for stopping by. I mean, you've given us so much great information. I can't wait to play. I'm sure there are many others that can't wait for the beta phase, and I'm looking forward to getting into the entire game. Thank you today, Felix. Yeah, thank you. Thanks thank for having me. Uh, absolutely. At Crowd1, we all know the importance of being proactive instead of waiting for things to happen. Absolutely. Our next speaker knows all about that. She's here today to share her story and her wisdom with us. She is an adventurer, a lecturer, and a runner, and a real inspiration. Yeah, she really is. Christina Paltian is an adventurer, ultra marathon runner, lecturer, writer, and coach. Without being fiercely proactive, she would have not have been able to accomplish all that she has. Christina Paltian, please welcome up on the Crowd One stage. I'm 14 years old, sitting in school, when my teacher asks me, who are you? Are you new in the class? I haven't seen you before. But I've been around all the time. But I don't like to be seen. I don't like to be heard. And I think maybe if I'm lucky, I will be able to, well, find a job, have a husband, have some children. At the age of 31, 
I do a 10K run, and boy, I get hooked, because this is wonderful. And I do a half marathon, a full marathon. I run 50 kilometers, 100 kilometers. And in ultra marathon running, as I'm competing in, there's two ways you can compete. You either start at the start, run to the finish, and measure the time. Or you set a certain time. For instance, 24 hours. And then you go running round and round and round. For instance, on a red tartan track. So can you imagine yourself running for 24 hours? on the red tartan track? Well, might sound a bit boring, but we change direction every six hours. And 13 years after my first 10K, I'm sitting in the office, I'm an engineer, when I get an email. And as I open it, I see that, whoa, there are world records on treadmills. And boy, there is a 48-hour world record. And I wonder if I can beat that, because I've never been running for 48 hours before, but hey, what could be a better motivation than to set a world record the first time I even try? And the female world record is 310 kilometers. I have a friend, we have the same result on 100 kilometers and on 24 hours running, and he's been running for 48 hours. He did 343 kilometers. If he's able to do that, I should be able to beat that record. So I go to the gym where I train. I talk to the manager, telling him about my plans. And he goes, wow, a world record at my gym. That's so wonderful. But hey, you got thousands of colleagues here. Let's make it an open house. Let's, let's put it live on the web. Let's invite everyone in the wall so they can join you when you're setting this world record. Won't that be fantastic, Christina? But I was just going to run. What if I fail? So I went home that evening. And that evening I took a decision. And that decision was never, ever to let fear rule my life. It's not going to determine who I am. Instead, what is going to determine my life and what I accomplish is what I want to create. So I got up on that treadmill, and here you see a picture from the final few minutes of my world record run. I did pass the old world record more than two hours ago, and my friends, they told me, if you set a new world record, we will surprise you. Yeah, well, they got golden hats, golden bow ties. Wow, what a surprise. But the guy with the headphones who is running beside me, he's from one of the biggest newspapers in Sweden. They're doing a live broadcast from this final hour of the world record. There's more than 10,000 people following me on the web. The entire gym is crowded with people. It's TV, radio station. It feels like almost everyone is there. And they didn't dare to put on those golden underpants, the one they bought in a sex shop. So that's what I got for setting a world record. I did cover 322.93 kilometers. It's almost eight marathons in a row. And the most thing, the biggest thing with this thing was that I felt, wow, if I can do this, what can I more create? I had been working for 18 years as an engineer. And the last year, I must say, had been most about fear of not having an economy if I would quit my job. But I was longing to do adventures. And me and a friend, we had been flying to Turkey. Then we ran all the way from Turkey to Finland. We ran a marathon a day for 75 days in a row. Then we kayaked from Finland home to Sweden. And I was thinking, maybe I should make new plans. Fly back to Turkey, run through Turkey, Iran, and then continue a lap around the world. But uh, a single woman running in Iran? Once again, I saw 
fear. And as I have chosen not to let fear determine on my life, I decided, okay, let's go only to Iran and run through that country. Because what if I can do that? Will I be able to create trust in myself? And maybe it will spread to people around me. That would be a wonderful thing. So here I am, ready to start my run. This is my baby jogger with all my things. And now I'm standing there. And there's no one that understands what I'm saying. Nein, I don't understand what they are saying. And how am I going to find my way? I can't even read. You must be the most stupid person in the world. But, come on. When it's tough, you know what to do. Just focus on the present moment. And in this present moment, the only thing I need to do is put a foot in front of the other. That's the basis of running. So I kept on repeating, just put a foot in front of the other. And I did repeat that the entire day. And I kept on running. And as I was running, people stopped their cars. And as they stopped their cars, they gave me fruit. And if they didn't have fruit, they bought fruit. Three, four kilos. And it's, bam! <laughs> Whoa! Now my baby jogger is really heavy. And people I met along the road, they invited me to sleep in their homes. So here, I have come to this beautiful woman. She has given birth to 10 children. And as I walk through her door, the first thing she does is just give me a big hug. And then she says, can I see a picture of your mother, Christina? I find a picture on my cell phone, and she looks at it. I know exactly how worried your mother is for you, Christina. Now I'm your Persian mother. I'm worried too. And in the morning when I leave her, she walks behind me with a bucket of water, and she splashes it onto the ground because it's a symbol for giving me a safe journey, and also that I will come back to her when I'm done. And the news about my run spread on social media and on, in traditional media, and it starts feeling like the entire Iran knows what I'm doing. Here I'm reaching the city of Babel. Bikers are meeting me several kilometers outside the town. They bike with me towards the city center, where 50 people have gathered just to celebrate that I want to come to their country, because they know that many Westerners think that they are terrorists. They also want to show me the same hospitality as Europeans show their countrymen when it was war between Iran and Iraq, and people fled to our area. So I do reach the finishing line. And as I do so, one of the families where I've been staying, they rent an entire restaurant, because it turn out, turns out that Iranians were as afraid of that I would end up in trouble as Swedes were. And now they saw the kindness and the friendliness of their own people, and they want to celebrate themselves. So they invite all the 34 different families where I have been sleeping to a great party. And here they give me a letter, and it ends with, if you, as a stranger, can trust us, then we can also trust each other and be graceful to each other. You gave us a better world, and we are grateful for that. So now, my run through Iran has reached more than 45 million people. But most of all, it has given me the life of my dreams. I keep on wandering off into the unknown, both physically and mentally, because it's only in the unknown that I can find out my true capacity. And when I'm there, I'm using the life force the life force of curiosity, 
of joy and of love to make my decisions. Because when I make decisions on those qualities, that's when I become the unlimited version of myself. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christina, for a, a wonderful and very important speech. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank Thanks. you, Jonas. This world event has come to its end, uh, but before, I know that a lot of you are waiting for some really exciting things, because we always end our world events with promotions. And right now, we have a lot of things going on, and um, therefore, let's start to look at this. And don't forget that the promotion is extra powerful when you use it together with the epic uh, promotion upgrade for free. So make sure that all new members have the best start and the best foundation. Uh, so promote this. Next thing I want to talk about is Migster. And the last couple of weeks have been a great success. And we are now uh, going really rapidly to 2 million Migster subscription. And uh, actually, right now, we have the Migster promotion going on until the 1st of August. So all existing uh, Crowd1 members have the chance to get this exclusive deal. So take a look at this. As I said before, we are just warming up. Uh, and the last thing I want to talk about today is the amazing planet IX. And right now, there is only 10 days until the launch, the 13th of July. But the last 10 days is a perfect period of time for all Crowd1 members to become pioneers uh, and, and to take a really big part of planet IX. So make sure that all members, all members in your team get this, this once in a lifetime opportunity. Before I show you the last, the last promotion video, I want to thank all of you members and leaders around the world for the fantastic job you do every day. And as I always tell you, and as I always promise you, we as a company, we will work 24-7 until we have delivered everything and, and changed the online business forever. So thank you again for the great job and see you soon. And take a look at this. Thanks. Thank you, Jonas. Always amazing having you here on stage. Well, what a day we've had. Most definitely. Now we have all the tools to go from reactive to proactive. Mm -hmm. We have heard about the amazing expansions by Jonas. 
Yes, and we got a company update about our active user pool and streamline from you one and Jonathan. Mm -hmm. And Peter told us about Back to Basic and the amazing Mindo. We heard from our inspirational impactors from all over the world. Yes, and Hannah talked us through some of Crowd One's communication channels. There's so much to look forward to regarding Mixter and, of course, the launch of Planet IX's beta phase. Mm. And the amazing Christina shared some of her experiences and tips for living a proactive life. I also thought that the advice shared by Anthony were brilliant. I learned so much about Let's Go! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, it's time to draw close to this amazing day we've had together, but uh -huh. we will see you soon online through our other channels, of course. Indeed. And with that, we will dance away the day with some of our amazing artists. Enjoy, and see you soon. Chasing the clouds away Our hearts were bringing And the key that our soul was singing As we danced in the night Remember how the stars stole the night away 